Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about inscribed and central angles for the do now and then moving on to talking about interior and exterior angles formed by chord secants and tangents. So if you look at the do now, it says in the accompanying diagram, quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in circle O. So if the measure of arc AB is 132 degrees and the measure of arc BC is 82 degrees, find the measure of angle ADC. So if you look here, the measure of angle ADC actually highlights both arc AB and BC. So what you're going to do is add these two arcs together. So 132 plus 82 is going to equal to 214. And then because you have an inscribed angle here, this angle is actually half the measure of the arc. So what you're going to do is take your 214 degrees and divide that by 2 to find the measure of the angle, which is 107 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle ADC is equal to 107 degrees. And what you can also do is write the angle into your diagram for further clarification. So moving on to the mini lesson, we're going to be talking about exterior angles formed by secants and tangents, as well as interior angles formed by chords. They are very similar concepts here. Uh, for the exterior angle, you're going to actually subtract the arcs, whereas for the interior angles, we're going to add them together. So let's look at example number one. As shown in the diagram below, secants PWR and PTS are drawn to circle O from external point P. If arc WT is 42 degrees, so as I'm reading it, I'm going to write this into my diagram, and the measure of arc RS is 138 degrees, we are looking for the external angle of RPS. So because it's an external angle here, we are going to take the big arc, subtract the small arc, and then divide it by 2 in order to get our exterior angle. So in this case, angle RPS is going to equal the big arc, which is RS, minus the small arc, which is WT, and then divide that by 2. So we're going to substitute in 138 minus 42 and divide that all by 2. Well, 138 minus 42 is 96, and then 96 divided by 2 is 48 degrees. So in this case, the measure of angle RPS is 48 degrees. Now, looking at the next example, these are your two chords. So instead of subtracting the arcs, we're actually going to add them together. So example two. In circle A below, chord BC and diameter DAE intersect at F. If the measure of arc CD is 46 degrees, so I'm going to label this here as 46 degrees, and the measure of arc DB is 102, what is the measure of angle CFE? So we are going to have to add the two arcs, but in order to do that, I'm going to need arc CE here. Well, in order to figure this out, I know that DE is a diameter. So because DE is a diameter, it cuts the circle in half. So in order to find the measure of arc CE, what we're going to have to do is take 180 degrees and then subtract 46, which will give us 134 degrees. So I know that the measure of arc CE is 134 degrees. So because we're going to add our two arcs together, we're going to use arc DB plus arc CE, and then divide that by 2 in order to give us our angle of CFE. So in this case, DB is 102 degrees, plus CE, which is 134 degrees, and then we're going to divide that by 2 to give us the angle. So 102 plus 134 is 236, divided by 2 is going to equal to 118 degrees, 
which represents the angle of CFE. So that is how we find interior and exterior angles that are formed by secants, tangents, and chords.